I need you to convince the Senate, or the Jedi Council, or whoever is in charge of this terrible war that we are threatened. Niyatni, to Padme Amidala both the Naboo and the Gungans remained loyal to the Republic during the Clone Wars, though many on Naboo were in despair at the idea of a galaxy-wide war. Senator Padme Amidala and Representative Jar Jar Binks worked together to represent the interests of the Naboo and Gungans respectively in the Galactic Senate. During the Clone Wars, Niyutni served as Queen of Naboo. Amidala and Binks, with the help of the Jedi Order and the Gungan Pepe Bo, discovered the separatist scientist Nuvo Vindi's secret laboratory in the Eastern Swamps. They managed to prevent Vindi from releasing stockpiles of the Blue Shadow virus into Naboo's surface. During the Battle of Morn Kala, elements of the Gungan Grand Army led by Representative Binks were dispatched to the watery planet of Morn Kala to aid Senator Amidala, the Jedi, the clone scuba troopers, and the Morn Calamari Prince Lee Chao's forces against the Separatist commander Rif Tamsin and his Quarren allies. Later, the Gungan boss Lioni came under the influence of the pro-Separatist minister Rish Lu. Under Lu's control, Lioni ordered the Gungan Grand Army to march on the Naboo capital of Thede. Their plan was to rendezvous with a separatist droid army led by General Grievous, who had been sent by Count Dooku himself. Rish Lu and Dooku's plot was foiled by the combined efforts of Senator Amidala, Representative Binks, the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker, and General Ruse Tarpauls. However, the Naboo and Gungans were forced to release Grievous after Dooku took Skywalker hostage. During the Festival of Light, Dooku sent Cad Bane and his team of bounty hunters to kidnap Palpatine in order to free Separatist prisoners from Republic captivity. At first, Bane and Moraloa Val were successful in capturing Palpatine. However, they were stopped by one of their fellow bounty hunters, Rako Hardin, who was really Obi-Wan Kenobi in disguise. But, Bane planned a diversion in order to lure the Republic forces away while Dooku carried out the kidnapping. This failed, however, when he fought Kenobi and Skywalker. 